Hello friends. So as discussed in the previous session, uh, we will now in this session study division of polynomials using division algorithm. So one way of dividing two polynomials you, you already know and that is called long division method. Long division method where we divide as per the division rules. Right. Now in this session we are going to discuss this division of polynomials using division algorithm which we are not going to perform long division method at all. So let us say the question is fx is x to the power 4 minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 5 right mind you there is no x cube term in it so hence degree fx is nothing but 4 right now I have to divide this by I am taking the same example which I took in the previous session x square minus x plus 1 in the last session we did did the long division this this uh, session we are not going to do that we are going to use the division algorithm okay now degree of gx clearly is 2 so by division algorithm I can say if I must get qx and rx such as fx is equal to gx times a quotient polynomial plus a remainder polynomial okay now degree of fx is 4 right degree of fx is 4 that means and uh, and degree of gx is 2 that means qx must have a degree of 2 as well isn't it Did you understand see fx has a degree of 4 so this will be a polynomial of something like fx is anyways is x to the power 4 the first term is x to the power 4 minus all that other other stuff now gx has the first gx is like this okay x square minus x now definitely i must have a power of x2 here then uh, in 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 qx such that when I open this bracket by multiplication, so I will get x square times x square as this x to the power 4. Correct? If it was not x square, let us say if you counter argue, no, why can't it be only x? Then in no in nowhere here, the entire in the entire multiplication, I will get a term which is x to the power 4. You understand? See if it is x, the highest power is x only. So if I multiply highest power of this to highest power of this. I will get x cube maximum but then how do I find out x4 if LHS is equal to RHS then there must be x to the power 4 term in RHS as well but you are saying the maximum is x cube only because all others will be lesser than 1 here isn't it so that means there must be a term containing x square here and of and also it cannot be x cube there cannot be any term like x cube here why because if there is an x cube then when you multiply this with x square you will get a term of x to the power 5 which is not there in the LHS. So hence with this logic I can say that this term must be having the second term this one must be having an x square in it and no more less can be possible right but it cannot be more it cannot be x, x to the power uh, cube. But certainly x square has to be there and other lesser degree terms are also possible. But you cannot have a polynomial here which doesn't have x square only. Okay, I hope you understood it. So hence if the if the uh, divid, uh, divisor had if the divisor had x square in it then the quotient must also have x square in it. Then only you can equate the two degrees on the left hand side and the right hand side. Plus we have, what do I have in the remainder? I have a remainder as Rx. Now I know degree of Rx will be less than degree of this. That means Rx, Rx is either a linear factor, linear polynomial or it is a constant polynomial. Constant polynomial. Why? Because we know that the remainder degree of Rx, degree of Rx is less than degree of Gx. Isn't it? So hence degree of gx is 2 which is quadratic so rx is less left over the leftover rx will have only either linear or a constant polynomial right now then what is the conclusion conclusion is qx is a quadratic is degree 2 polynomial 
पॉलिनोमियल एंड आर एक्स इज इधर लीनियर और कॉन्स्टेंट ओके सो इफ क्यू एक्स इज डिग्री टू पॉलिनोमियल वॉट काइंड ऑफ डिग्री टू पॉलिनोमियल आर लाइक अ स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म इज ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी करेक्ट लेट क्यू एक्स बी दिस एंड लेट दिस गाई आर एक्स बी लेट एस ए डी एक्स प्लस ई लीनियर पॉलिनोमियल you will say what if it is constant so let's say eventually if we come to know that it is constant then d will come out to be zero right if it is a constant polynomial let us see how so what is the x uh, so let me let me rewrite the entire expression so hence now i can rewrite x to the power 4 minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 this is the dividend what was the divisor x square minus x plus 1 What is the quotient? I am saying it is a x square plus b x plus c. And what is the remainder? Let us say d x plus e. Okay. Now L H S is equal to R H S. Then the coefficient must also be equal. So let me just simplify this on the right hand side. I will get what a x to the power four. Then a x to the power four. Then minus b x to the power three. Then Uh, I'm sorry. Plus b x to the power three, b x to the power three, and then c x square, isn't it? I am now opening and multiplying one by one. Then minus a x cube. So I'm writing it here. Minus a x cube. Then minus b x square. Then minus c x. Right. And then finally a x squared. Right. And then b x plus c and then there is a d x and plus e right so eventually if you take all the like terms together so it is a x to the power 4 plus b minus a x cubed plus c minus b plus a x squared plus b plus d x plus c plus e isn't it now lhs is equal to rhs isn't it so hence all the coefficient must also be same since x is not equal to 0 see if x equals to 0 then though there is no problem right a b c d can be anything but if x is not equal to 0 then what i have to it, it, this particular lhs will be equal to rhs only when 1 is equal to a why because here is the coefficient is 1 here it is a so it must a must be equal to 1 then the coefficient of x cube is 0 is it there is not no x cube here so hence what will happen uh 0 is equal to b minus a and a was 1 that means b also is equal to 1 right then what the third is minus 3 and it is c minus b plus a right now b is 1 a is 1 so a minus b is 0 so hence we will get c is equal to minus 3 is it c is equal to minus 3 Then what? B plus D on the left hand side is four, so B plus D. Now B is one. This implies D is equal to three, correct? And C plus E, so five. This last term is a constant. C plus E, so C plus E. Now C is minus three. This implies E is equal to five minus C, which is eight, isn't it? So what do we get? we got all the a b c d e value so hence g sorry q x see without division itself we could find out q x now q x was a x square plus b x plus c which is now equal to what x square a is 1 b is 1 so x plus c minus 3 so x square plus x minus 3 is the quotient and what is the remainder r x is r x is d x plus e now um, wait a minute 4 3 plus d oh i'm sorry here there is a mistake the mistake is it is b plus d minus c is missing so minus cx is also there right so b plus d minus c so please do a correction minus cx so hence here you'll get minus c and hence d is equal to So this is four minus one plus minus three. 
which is equal to zero okay so d is zero guys so hence d is zero so hence what will you get you will get only e which is equal to eight so rx is equal to eight right so in this process what do we get qx the quotient is x square plus x minus three and rx is equal to eight so without division we could find out what is qx and what is the remainder